think we need both, uh, although uh, over the last years the increase of women, in uh, the number of women in science was huge. And uh, at this moment I think in some areas we have a, a proportion of women which is bigger than the men in the same, in the same domains. What we don't have yet is a, a gender balance div division of the, of the labor and of the tasks in science. We still have a lot of men dealing with the powerful things and women uh, trying to fight for having the same rights and same opportunities. I was a researcher for more than 10 years before becoming a member of the European Parliament. But I, I don't say that my, from my personal experience. But I do say that for experiencing from international conferences, for uh, evaluation like peer review and things like that, although it's blind, all the panels and mainly the panels who evaluate, of those who evaluate the, the projects which have to be funded, they are mainly composed by men. It's, 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 it's hugely un, unbalanced and we, we can't accept this in a moment like this. I think that's a bit of true and a bit of a myth. I don't think it's by the fact that it's a woman or a man, but I think that the, the fact that women don't have the same opportunities is a loss for science. And it's not only a question of being men or being women. The question is, of course, the unequal relations of powers and positions. And of course, if we have a more egalitarian uh, uh, mode of uh, developing our scientific uh, uh, domains, for sure it will be richer than it is and uh, uh, what is lacking now is women because they are a minority, not because we don't have, in fact I think there are more women uh, high, highly educated at the European level now than men, but still there's a lot of steps to, to, to climb.